Hello everybody, this is Dave Prusi. We're looking here at day two of the show. I hope you had a great time yesterday. I hope your feet are holding up and I hope you have a blast today. Just want to move along into a new sector here. We want to talk about robots as we cruise along. As you may know, many of our customers around the world are enjoying the fact that we put a lot of, lot of time into uh, designing and optimizing our robots so that they can maximize flexibility for all kinds of automation needs. Uh, as you'll see at some of the displays at the show, a couple examples include the 48 cavity blood tubes that we're running. And uh, we also have uh, cosmetic uh, lids and uh, containers that are running in our zero plast machine where we're actually assembling the parts afterwards. So we have some really nice automation displays. You know, over many shows, many K shows and world shows, we've been able to prove that the robots are quite the athletes on our sports team here. And uh, we've ac actually shown robots as weightlifters, hockey players. We've had robots playing uh, basketball, as you've seen. And uh, off to the side, we've even had robots that did a great job mixing drinks as bartenders. So I've asked one of our colleagues to join me today and tell us a little bit more about what's so new, exciting, and dynamic that's happening this year with the K-Show. Martin Stemheimer, if you could join me. Yeah, sure. Dave, also for me a warm welcome to the K-Show, second day. And yeah, following our tradition of having, let's say, athletic robots and doing some innovative things, we are showing this time, based on our sonic design, uh, a train application where we do place the train, the rails for a train, for a kid's toy train. Oh. As well, we are showing a chuckling tandem robot. Uh, who is working with some balls and throwing balls from one to the other side. It will oh. be quite innovative. Nice. That's really awesome. I, I can imagine that it took quite a bit to be able to have robots juggling the balls and uh, moving the railroad tracks along for uh, trying to keep up with, uh, with pos fine positioning and, and the uh, uh, credibility of uh, all the uh, speed that you have to do with these robots. What else is going on that's so new in the world of robots now? New in the world of robots is basically, uh, let's say, communication based on OPC UA. This is, let's say, a known word for everyone. Everyone is focused on this one. And we are offering here two new interesting possibilities. On the one side, we have the control room uh, where we can synchronize and simulate um, different kind of robot cells, auxiliary equipment directly on a customer PC. As well, something totally new is our new Wi-Fi option for the robot control, for the R9 wow. control. I'm actually holding here the new Teach Pendant for the R9 and you can see without any kind of cable we are now able to move here the robot around and what is basically important everything is TÜV certificated so we are fully safe here with a black channel version of the safety device and this is full, uh, full industrial use. Well, wow, that's really, really awesome, Martin. Uh, also, I, I learned that this control room, is it true that you can take basically all our auxiliaries, robots, uh, blenders, dryers, all the auxiliary equipment, and you could basically p give somebody a 4.0 experience on any molding machine? Is that true? Yes, Dave, that's correct. Uh, this is one of the new developments with the control room. We have a new device, it's called a cell controller. With this one we can collect the information from the different auxiliary devices from Whitman. On the one side, combine this information, transfer it to a customer screen on a PC. This can be, for example, a main operator terminal. But what is also possible, and this is really a cool thing in my opinion, we can also simulate this on the teach bandit itself. So this means on the teach box, directly at the work cell, you have a combined view of all the auxiliary devices which are running in the cell. This means adjustment from the front side of the cell of a TCU, for example, or changing the recipe of a uh, gravimetric blending unit will be quite easy and without walking around, everything is on one screen, easy accessible, and without any kind of safety risks that you have to climb up and search for something. Wow, that's awesome. I guess by also having two different ways to do that with an actual PC station yes. or by doing it on a robot pendant means the customer can also spend less money by using common controls to actually run and work with all the equipment. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, uh, I think uh, everybody should understand Whitman's tagline has to do with enjoy innovation. So we really hope you have a great day at the show here, day two. Uh, keep rested up. I know you're having a good time in the uh, old town, but 
try to hang in there with all our great innovations. We hope you have a great time and uh, please enjoy. Thank you, everybody. We'll be right back.